So Obsidian have added something called Canvas in the last couple of weeks. Today we're going to overview what it is, how it works, and a little bit more about it if you're interested in Obsidian. So before we begin, we do have a course on Obsidian, which Justin has just added a full getting started guys using Canvas, which you can find linked below. So this is Canvas, and as you can see, you can essentially create Canvas by pressing this button here and a canvas is created. What's really nice about Canvas is you can add multimedia like images, YouTube videos, links, and they're all embeddable and usable, which means you can take notes alongside them. For example, I just dragged these in and they started to populate, which was really nice. And of course, they're saved as a note inside of my Obsidian Vault. So if I go back to this canvas, I can actually make connections between them. I can do this by dragging them here and being able to create loops but you could create a whole flow chart based on some brainstorming ideas that you have, or maybe some ideas that you're having elsewhere. But I can also create these things called cards. If I just double tap, I can select a color, and I can naturally start writing the note out. These are normally good for just giving sort of titles or headlines like this one. I can actually change the size of it a bit more. And this is a sort of a representation of what these are being talked about. But one of the things you can do is actually bring in notes from your area. So if I had a note like office look checklist and I had this alongside it, change the color to blue, then what I can do is naturally have this as my office checklist. But it also lives in the note inside of my Obsidian account. So it could be like, okay, chair, desk, wallpaper, just some ideas. And if I go back to the note, as you can see, it edit is updated in real time, which is quite helpful for bringing in notes and multimedia from your vault already. Now, one thing you can do is also drag notes over and create a group, but I'll let Justin guide you through all of that inside of the Obsidian Made Simple course Canvas Guide. So an interesting new feature from Obsidian, you can do a few other things like zoom in, move stuff to fit, change your snapping of the grid, and much more. But a very interesting addition of this new feature and how you can really maximize it. It's really interesting to see where Obsidian is going with their feature, especially being such a solid experience it is now. Maybe not so much on mobile, but definitely as it looks. Obsidian also won Note Taking App of the Year award that we did on Twitter in the World Cup, winning 66% of the votes. So congratulations to Obsidian. Anyway folks, let us know in the comments below how you're using the feature and whether this is something that interests you. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you're interested in checking out some more, you'll find them here. And also you can subscribe to as well. It'd be great to have you here to optimize your tool. And if you're interested in our new email newsletters or our Bento application, or even Tool Finder, which is a new tool that we've created to help you find the perfect productivity tool, you can find it linked in the description.